know, my friends, when we go to activate a lot of the different features here on the Roland Atelier, there's choices here. We can either accomplish that by taking our hand and pressing on the different buttons so that you have the variety of uh, whatever you choose to make this instrument. But sometimes that can be a little bit dangerous in a way. I'll tell you why. Because if you're playing along and you're doing so well with your, with your rendition of the song, it, sometimes just pressing something like this can maybe be uh, something that would interfere with your perfect timing or with your uh, your uh, general reading of your music, etc. So we can try and do something better. We can actually have the right and the left foot switch on the volume pedal be our be our guide and can actually do this for us without reaching up and pressing the different controls. Now let me show you how we get this. So we're on the home screen now. We're going to press sound keyboard again. And over here now on the left portion of the lower screen, it says controller. So controller now will lead us to, it says left foot switch and right foot switch. Now this is all for the right foot. Remember, this is where your volume pedal is. Now if we want to change things, for example, I have the left foot switch currently set to, to stop the rhythm entirely. But if I press this again, it will give me several other options. We can have a glide effect be activated by that foot switch or we can have an intro and ending be activated by that. But for now, I'm going to leave it the way I had it set up, and we had it set to be the, the rhythm start and stop. The right foot switch, we have set for the fill-in. This will be a little little rhythmic uh, fill-in here that makes us sound like we're playing with a combo and, and a couple other musicians. So again, it's my right foot that's doing it, and I'm just moving just an inch or so to the left or to the right to accomplish this. Let me start the uh, music going here. Okay, let's first of all go to the right. See, so that's kind of fun to use after the bridge of the song or maybe at, at the end of a chorus or something. Whereas on the left side, we have it set to actually stop the rhythm. I'm going to move my right foot just an inch to the left. Gone. So, I mean, this is, this is very convenient to do, so as you don't have to reach up and do it with your finger. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a great way to add another dimension to your playing and really not a lot of extra effort required whatsoever. Now let me show you one final thing here, which I think is really a kick and, and can add so much to your playing. It is called manual percussion. It's activated on the left side over here, almost to the very end. And what this does is it converts the last notes of the lower keyboard here to be percussive effects and some special effects as well. So here's one that's just a sort of a little flourish, a little orchestral thing to add to the end of a song, or in the middle of the song if you prefer. So let me just get a little bit of the rhythm going again that we just did. And I'm going to use the manual percussion with my left hand. I'm gonna also stop the rhythm with that left kick switch, foot switch that we have activated from our prior session here. Ready? Here we go. Effective, eh? Give it a try.